I discriminate against no plant in the plant kingdom, so I find growing marijuana just as exhilarating as growing cucumbers or tomatoes. And through Health Canada, I'm allowed to grow my own medicine. I was involved in a pretty severe car accident that left me with a cervical neck injury and a chronic pain scenario. I was taking, at one point, sustained release morphine in conjunction with Oxycontin. A lot of the times, I didn't know where I was or when I was. Um, and it was just horrid. It was one evil or the other. Suffer the pain, the physical anguish or take the drugs they were prescribing me, which knocked the living shit right out of me. You know, I was, I was a father of two. I really wasn't active in anything to do with marijuana. I had stopped smoking it years prior, uh, just, just because I had, I had had enough at one point, I guess. And a buddy came in to visit me, and he said, look at he says, you're taking all this painkillers. He says, why don't you try smoking grass? And I'm like, yeah, wouldn't that be great, you know? Uh, and a matter, as a matter of fact, I did. He had given me some. When I smoked it for the first time in my life, out of a recreational stance, I had recognized its benefit. It had taken away the spasm, and it really, really worked. So, wow, you know, this this is great. Like I, I'm mobile. Like I, it, it, it lifted my spirits to know there's something that's going to work that doesn't cause such terrible side effects. So I immediately go to my doctor and I said, look at you know, Health Canada is warranted in medicinal marijuana for spinal injuries. I qualify. Would you please give me a prescription for marijuana? And he says, well, I can't jeopardize my entire practice on the basis of one prescription for marijuana. And I said, well, look at, I have an instant release morphine for breakthrough pain. I have a sustained release morphine. I have a prescription for Oxycontin. My bowels don't function, my brain's not working clearly, I've lost all sexual drive. Uh, I, I'm nauseated constantly through the day. I'm suffering here. And he looks at me and says, well, for the sexual drive, I'll give you some Viagra. For the nausea, I'm going to give you uh, some gravel. Uh, for the constant spasm, I'm going to give you a drug called Flexeril that relaxes the spasm. For the constipation, I'm going to give you a herbal laxative. And I looked at him and I said, logically, you're concerned about my addiction to the traits of marijuana while I'm taking a synthetic heroin and you're supplying me four other drugs to counteract the side effects of the synthetic heroin. From there, I went on a campaign. I had a mission because nobody cared. And up until that point, you know, personally, I wasn't that type of person who cared up until the point of the accident. You know, hey, Shane, how's it going? Oh, your mom's dying of cancer. So sorry to hear that. Could you please pass the salt? Other people's lives didn't matter. I was laid up and suffered chronic pain. I had a story to tell. And when I told people, they looked at me and said, geez, Jason, really sorry to hear that. Uh, could you please pass the salt? And then it dawned on me, you know, this isn't what this is about. Life isn't the bottom line that I should be driving the big four-wheel drive truck or the fancy car living in the big posh house with the granite countertops. It came to me that it's about taking care of one another. That's what the value and asset of life is. We're here for a short period. You can't take that ground and countertop before we'll drive truck with you.